because we are not only serving our children, but we are serving our God through serving our fellow men. So, good people, we will wake up together. Don't think that we are prescribing things to you that we are not going to do. Uh, we will be together. Uh, I don't know whether the sub-county director of Mohaya is here, Rwanda. Oh, yeah, very good. I woke up with you at 3. I was there at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I was in Taita Taveta at 3 a.m. in the morning with the sub-count director. I was in um, all manner of places uh, at the time that we were expected to be. Kisauni, 3 a.m. in the morning, Kambiamoto, and many places in this country that it gave me an opportunity to also understand and know the country. So we will do the same. That's how we are going to work this year. And by God's grace, we will go everywhere. Uh, you'll see Professor Magoa everywhere, Marsabit, uh, Wajia. We will all be together in making sure that the plan we have put in place is effectively implemented. Lastly, I want to say this, that, you know, initially when um, the IBC had told us that the elections would be held on 17th of um, October, we didn't have a problem with that. Uh, but when the date was moved to the 26th, it's posed a challenge for uh, one paper, Home Science 441-3, stroke uh, which is the practicals for our home science students, which is, was scheduled to be done on the 26th. So we moved it to the Monday 30th. And that's the only change we have made on the timetable. Otherwise, the timetable remains intact as it was. Uh, you good people, more than anyone else in this country, understands that it would be disastrous if we moved exams even by one week. We will hurt our children. Uh, because when you look at the number of teachers we need to mark the exam, and if we were to move the exam uh, by a week or two, we'll be confronted with uh, a harrowing experience of having to lock exams in the shelf uh, so that we mark the exams in April. And uh, what that means is that results are not available until June, and our students in Form 4 will have lost the whole one year uh, in their university programs. None of us wants to face that kind of nightmare. It's unfair to our children, we will not accept it. So we have agreed and resolved that we will stick with the timetable as it is. Whatever sacrifices must be made, we will make them to ensure that that timetable remains as it is so that we don't uh, hurt our children's progression. Same thing with KCPE, we cannot uh, change the timetable because if we do, it kicks hell because it, it, it affects everything including for one selection reporting of our children in Form 1 and so on.